This section is called marginal analysis. Marginal analysis is a decision-making tool to help companies maximize their potential profits and minimize their potential costs. So we want to remember the derivative measures instantaneous rate of change, which is able to tell us when we are increasing, decreasing, and give us some relative extrema. So now we're going to apply these sign charts and critical numbers and all that good stuff into analyzing cost, revenue, and profit functions. Because again, we're gonna use this as a decision-making tool. Decision-making tool, using the derivative to tell us what is going to work best for a company. So with this, we're going to get some formulas. Hopefully a lot of these are familiar because they come from business and economics. Um, so our first thing that we're gonna talk about is actual cost. Actual cost is the amount of money that it takes to acquire or produce a specific asset or product. So when calculating actual cost for the nth unit, so some theoretical number n, the formula that you plug into is, well, first you'd wanna find the total cost for producing all n units. So C of N, so we wanna make 50 units and say that cost us $100 or something like that. We're gonna then subtract C of the number before. So in this case, we said C of 50 units, the cost to make 50 of something is $100, and then we would subtract the total cost for making 49 of something. So if the total cost for producing 50 was 100 and the total cost for producing 49 is $97, then the actual cost for that 50th unit is $3. So just a random example like that, what we're going to be plugging into. So for now, the formula is C of N, the number you want to know, minus C of N minus 1. Get the total cost for all n, and then the, subtract the total cost for the number before. And then I'll tell you the cost for just that nth unit you're interested in. So marginal analysis is the study of the rate of change in economic quantities. We're going to use that to make its decisions. Um, we have marginal cost is the actual cost incurred in producing an additional unit of commodity. So marginal analysis is a pretty tough interpretation. We wanna remember that marginal of something estimates the actual cost, so it's gonna estimate this formula up here. It's gonna do what we find in that two-step formula, plugging in C of N and C of N minus one. It's gonna do that just a little bit faster by finding marginal cost is gonna predict the actual cost for the next unit. So if we were interested in finding the actual cost for that 50th unit, we would plug into marginal cost, we'd plug in 49 because it always estimates the next unit. So this is called C prime of 49 would estimate the actual cost for the 50th unit. So an additional unit of commodity, always the next unit. So marginal cost is actually kind of nice because it's not an extra formula for us to memorize like the actual cost was. Marginal cost is just the derivative of the total cost function. So when asked for marginal cost, you're always going to take the derivative. And this is true for any function. If you're given profit and asked for marginal profit, you'll take the derivative of profit. If I'm gonna give you revenue and I wanna know marginal revenue, it's not a special formula, it's just taking the derivative of revenue. So if you are given the cost function, you find the marginal cost and you call it C prime since it's the derivative. So let's give ourselves an extra note here since this is a tough interpretation. We wanna write this down, marginal approximates actual for the next unit, which might not make too much sense right now, but we're gonna do it a few times with cost, revenue, and profit, and then it'll make more sense. So if you take marginal cost, it's going to approximate actual cost for the next unit. If you take marginal profit and you plug in 30 into that derivative, that's gonna approximate the actual profit from selling the 31st unit. If you take marginal revenue and you plug in 22, that marginal revenue is gonna approximate the actual revenue from selling the 23rd unit, always the next unit. And so we're gonna get into uh, several examples of that. 